Tell you what, mate, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't going to do another video this year today, but I was so impressed by it. I think we've got to match it against the ball that I actually use. Now, there's £20 pretty much difference between these two balls for a dozen. Yep. So that's a lot of money. You get, essentially get two of these, price of one of these. Very close, yeah. So I know that weight of the seven line were kind of similar numbers wise. I think what I was saying is maybe this will, the probably one will pivot with the driver. So we're going to keep the numbers of what we've just done. We've just done a video on the seed for two just, uh, SDO2 and SDO2. Just there and I, yeah. yeah. So I want to keep the swing the same. I feel like it should be fair to do it today. Yeah. Um, and just test it out. So I'm going to hit four wedges, four seven irons, and four drivers with the Titus Pro V1. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does. Right, four shots. Let's speed it up. Time for seven iron. Seven iron. Yeah, let's go. Only one. Okay, so numbers time. Um, what we've done is we're going to compare the Pro V1 numbers to the SD02, the yeah. Seed SD02. <clears throat> the reason being is I felt that was slightly better fitted for me, slightly softer, uh, and I, I, I think that ball's really, really good. So here's the, here's the comparison, I guess. Here we go. So the SD, the Seed02 for Simon carried at 125 as pitching wedge. Okay. And we can see if you go a bit closer there, you can see that it, uh, it was 122 yeah. with the Pro V1. The SD02 uh, was spinning at 11,390. Okay, so this is slightly higher spinning. Fine. Yeah. Um, and what, we had 108 ball speed. 107. What was the club speed? Did you have a club speed in that? 88. Okay, so very similar. Yep. There you go. So n nothing's really changed. I guess the Pro V1 generates a little bit more spin, around about 400 revs, right? Yeah. Which that means Which it's going to go a little bit shorter because it's spinning faster. Um, and we're going to get a bit more back spin. Obviously, the Pro V1 is the higher spinning ball out of the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Yeah. So. But it's pretty close, mate, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know? So, 7 iron. Yeah. 7 iron for the seed was spinning at, or spinning at, it was carrying at 170. 169.6, so exactly the same. The seed was spinning at 7494. Oh, there we are. So slightly higher spinning. Very, yeah. very close though. But so, so close. Yeah. Your club head speed was 93. A little bit slower, okay. And your ball speed was 130. I mean, that is mad. <laughs> that is almost identical. Seven iron and wedge there between the uh, seed and the Pro V1. Bearing in mind, guys, there's 20 pounds difference pretty much between these uh, in, in dozens. Okay. So the seed with the driver yeah. was carrying at 274. Okay, well there's a bit of a difference there. Okay, so it's 282 with the, with the Pro V1. Yeah. Uh, your total distance with the seed was 295. Okay, this is 303. That's 303. Yeah. The spin on the seed was 2597. Okay, so this is slightly more lower spinning. Okay. 
and your club head speed on the seed was 106. Oh, there's three mile mm. difference there. So on that particular test, you were swinging it faster. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Give give, give the seed another three mile an hour. Yeah, it's up there, isn't it? I think has so. to be. I think it, it so. Just, yeah, it just has to be. Ball speed with the seed was 164. 167. So that's yeah, three mile an hour ball speed for a three and a three mile an hour extra in, in, in club speed. So I reckon it'd be very. Close I'm telling actually. you, I'm really yeah, really really impressed. So that that extra three mile an hour club head speed will will, will definitely either equate to the same as the seed. Yeah. Or or, or sorry, the Pro V one, or, or beat it. You know. Well, there you go. There you have it, guys. I think it's a thumbs up from us. Um, Get, get you know support local businesses get you know get a dozen and try them out they they, they do a trial pack uh, i think it's 20 euros or 20 pounds okay uh, a trial pack where they send some balls and uh, it says on their website but you know it's 25 pounds if you're buying them normally so yeah yeah it's it's definitely something to look for i don't know if you know comment down below have you heard of seed have you seen any of their stuff um is it something you might think about because at that price point, why would you not? Yeah. Cheers, guys.